a live look outside right now. I'm here with WDSU meteorologist Jay Gallet. Jay, is your heater on yet at home? Not yet. Me neither. I'm going to hold off on it because yeah. I'm going to get really, really cold. Ah. So uh, we, might, we might get close to that. Okay. We, you know, we do have some clouds that are currently moving in. Have a look at the satellite and radar loop. Those clouds from the southwest, they've been lurking about over the last day or so. Uh, we did get some sunshine in here earlier, but now you can see the clouds are starting to move back in. That's because we do have some rain to our southwest. You get those high clouds from all that rain. They get blown down range, if you will, and that's what we're dealing with at the moment. So tomorrow, Friday night football, take a look about the mid 60s. We we'll call it partly cloudy and cool at 7 o'clock. Games continue 10, 11 o'clock. You're going to be out that late. I think the skies will clear. Lower 60s, cool, maybe a slight breeze, so maybe a windbreaker is what you need as you hang out in some of the, the stadiums around southeast Louisiana watching the high school football. So today, 69 degrees. That's all we manage. The low 60 degrees. That's still above the seasonal low of 55, but the 69 this afternoon, that is below the average of what is now 73 degrees. As we take a look at the current temperatures, upper 60s, lower 70s, south of Lake Pontchartrain, 68 Bell Chase, 73 in Homa, north of Lake Pontchartrain, similar setup, upper 60s, lower 70s, 68 in Bogalusa, 72 in Hammond, and along the Mississippi Gulf Coast, we are in the lower 70s. So the winds right now rather light, especially north of Lake Pontchartrain. Average wind speeds south of the lake about five miles per hour. So as we get into the evening hours, I'm expecting the winds to really be light, both north shore and south shore. The only question, or as we like to say, the fly in the ointment here is the clouds. How much cloud cover are we going to get this evening? I think the winds will be light. How much cloud cover we get this evening will dictate how cool we're going to get overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. But you can see those clouds are moving in our direction. So we'll play out the forecast model again. We'll keep this area of disturbed weather in southern Texas and northeastern Mexico to our south. But those clouds will continue streaming through. If you believe the model, we're going to go partly cloudy skies, and I think that's a pretty good bet. I think we do get some cloud cover, so I think we are going to cool off, but probably not get quite as cool as we could be, but nonetheless, we're still going to have some pretty cool conditions uh, overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning, where you see right here, there's your timestamp some cloud cover as we get to tomorrow afternoon we start clearing out once again we are tracking another cold front that is going to push across the region it's going to be situated right about here and as we move ahead in time as we get to saturday it will be in the gulf we are going to get some clearing skies saturday morning but again because that area of low pressure that's cut off from the main flow those clouds will kind of be lurking about but i am expecting saturday afternoon as you can see right there to be mostly sunny so we have a nice weekend on tap It'll be mild, but cool in the morning. So tonight on the north shore, we're going to go mid to upper 40s. You'll need the jacket. Look out for those incoming clouds. And then on the south shore tonight, we're going to go, you know, we'll call it mid to upper 50s for the most part. Some clouds later on cool and then tomorrow afternoon have a look we can lower to mid 70s a mixture of sunshine and clouds whatever morning clouds we have I think by the afternoon we clear it out nicely and your seven day forecast have a look so you know Sunday into Monday we could pick up a stray shower near the coast but rain chances are really really low and if we get it it's going to be along the coast so I'm leaving rain out of the forecast and going with a nice mild weekend there you have it right there tomorrow of course Veterans Day